Hello yogis, welcome to yoga practice. Today's class is all about dancer's pose and dancing Shiva and our connection between fear and freedom. So let's begin. You'll need two blocks for practice and lay all the way down to your back. Now as you lay down, let me start you off with a little background. Now, Lord Shiva, or Shiva, is known most for his role as king dancer, or Nataraja in Sanskrit. We see him pictured with snakes around his neck and encircled in a ring of fire. And in postures such as dancer's pose, Natarajasana, and dancing Shiva, we learn from Shiva how to relinquish fear and embody the freedom to dance to our own music. So as you settle in, start to relinquish anything that holds you back, any fear that develops. And sit with. Let's add on a layer of movement. So keep your left leg nice and straight. Extend your right leg up towards the sky. Grab the back side of your leg and gently start to nudge your leg towards your body, towards your face. Enjoy the stretch as it develops in the back line of your body, through your glutes, your hamstring, the back side of your knee, into your calf muscle. And just melt, surrender, and embody. Now bend your right leg even more. You can grab the outside of your shin, your calf, your ankle, or if you've got the range, the outside of your right foot. Send your right arm down towards the ground. And surrender your right leg to the left side. It's a little supine twist, straight leg variation or in the direction of. Now your left leg can be bent to encourage more stability down to the ground. As you start to awaken through the outside of your right leg, your deep six into your glutes, and all the way down the span of your leg into your IT band. Come back to center. Let's take on the second side. Extend your right leg nice and long. And point your left leg up towards the sky. Grab the back side of your left leg. And use the weight of your arms just to open up the stretch. in your muscles, your connective tissue. Give it time. Enjoy this moment. Drop in. Then grab the outside of your left knee, your shin, your ankle, or the knife edge of your foot, and glide your leg down towards the ground. And twist through your middle spine, your upper back, your cervical. Gaze over your left fingertips. Enjoy the sweet rotation through your middle body. And the guidance of your breath. Return back to center. Legs up at the wall, so send your legs all the way up. Glide your palms down. We'll take scissor kick variation. Flex your feet towards your face, so dorsiflexion here. Hover your left heel off the ground. We'll do this nice and slow just for a minute here, and then switch your legs. Nice and slow. Switch your legs. Nice and slow. I'm watching the clock. So two passing ships in the night here. As you activate your belly, your lower abs, your inner thighs, the top side of your legs, your quadriceps, as you maneuver back and forth, back and forth. You can go as slow as you want to go here to really activate and feel the muscles. 
Build strength and endurance, resilience here in your body. Last 20 seconds. Slow, confident, strong. 15 seconds. Energize with each movement. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your legs. Release through your lower back just for a moment. And then hug your knees into your chest and find a seat. Rock to your glutes. Cross your right ankle over your left leg. Get a nice little stretch through your glutes as you hinge forward. Brace down through your palms, your fingertips. And then grab the outside of your right foot with your left palm. Solidify your right palm down towards the ground. A little seated Shiva. Straighten your right leg and keep a gentle bend in your right knee. Push your heel bone, your calcaneus, towards the end of your mat. Elevate through your spine, rock your shoulders over your hips, and then reach towards the back. Send your gaze over your fingertips, get a nice little stretch through your neck at the same time. Be strong, long, and lifted through your spine. Back to center, stand your right leg nice and long, cross your left ankle over your right leg, and hinge over your hips, or hinge at your hips. A little moment just to release any tension, any residual fear. Good. Right, grab the knife edge of your left foot, straighten your left leg. Brace down through your palm, your fingertips. Find length, exhale extension. And then add on your final layer. Send your left arm nice and long towards the back. And wrap your neck around, gaze over your fingertips, be strong and lifted here. Confident, powerful movement. Back to center, you can bend your legs, you can cross your ankles, rock all the way over, downward facing up. Find some freedom in your movements here. Whatever that looks like, whatever that feels like, have the courage to guide your practice appropriately, to stay embedded in your truth, to take any shape that gives you balance, stability, confidence, strength, endurance. Inhale, lift your right leg nice and long. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your blocks, choose the appropriate side, and then modify pyramid. Keep the length with your leg here. Elevate your left heel off the ground. Start to surrender breath by breath, moment by moment, your chest towards your right leg. Send your gaze to your ankle, your shin, to find length to the back side of your head. So pull your chin down and slightly back. Find true extension to the sides of your neck all the way out to the crown of your head. I ask you here, yogis, what are you afraid of? And why are you afraid? Take your blocks to the right side, a little side body stretch. Squeeze through your outer hips, your inner thighs. Continue to enjoy the stretch as it unravels through your side bodies. Now are these fears still serving you? Or maybe they are a little bit outdated and some reprogramming needs to happen. You can even drop your left heel down and see if that creates a different sensation or a new sensation in your body. Back to center. Step your right foot back and just step your left foot forward. Second side. Modified pyramid. Start to hug in through your hips, your glutes, the sides of your waist. And find the freedom here with your posture. 
Intuitively, where does the body want to go? Where does it want to soften? Where does it need more security, more foundation? Now, what if you decided to unbind your fear? Could you create boundless freedom? Walk your blocks over to the left side. Continue to explore without any tethers of fear. Just limitless potential in your life. Even drop your right heel down. Good, come back to center. Send your blocks down, high plank. One minute here in high plank. Push down, lift up, find length. Feel a chorus of energy, of strength. Fingertips, the base of your hands, your lower arms, your upper back, in between your shoulder blades, down your thoracic spine into the base of your tailbone, inner thighs, abductors, Push the back side of your knees up towards the sky, all the way down to your ankle bones, your heel, the broad span of the bottom side of your feet, into the toe mound, and each little toe. Take one more breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ooh. Walk to the top of your mat. If you can be hip width distance apart or closer together and start to unravel. Find freedom in movement. No longer bound by the rituals of the past, of what you've been told you should do, it should look like, just you. Inhale, mountain, reach up towards the sky. Energize from the four corners of your feet, the inner thighs, all the way up to your sides, your waist, your fingertips, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the right side of the room. Keep your lower body connected towards the front of the room, the front of your mat, and then twist and rotate through your spine. Inhale, mountain pose, back to center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Pull your arms in opposite directions. You can take a little gentle bend in your elbows and start to turn on through your fingertips. Inhale, mountain. And we're going to play with what's called a little freedom flow. So when you go into your next posture, which will be chair with airplane arms, I want you to get nice and loosey-goosey through your upper arms through your upper back and your arms, your fingertips, and find buoyancy in the posture. And after you find that buoyancy, you'll come back up to a mountain and a back bend. So we'll just do it once. Breathe in. Exhale, chair plank. Inhale, mountain back bend. And exhale, forward fold. We'll play with that freedom movement throughout practice. Inhale, halfway lift. Turn on through your back muscles, squeeze through your rhomboids, breathe in. Exhale, high plank, step back, shift forward, lower halfway down. So arms next to your, your side bodies, your ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog. Let's hang out here for a little bit of time, just to find the freedom of our hips, our hip flexors, our psoas, our lower back, middle back, upper back, sides of our neck. And then even the, any tension that may be in our jaw, back behind our eyes, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift your right leg nice and high. And exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg twist, so straighten your right leg. Press your left fingertips down towards the ground, squeeze through your glutes, and then wrap your left, left rib cage underneath. Reach your right fingertip up towards the sky. Feel the length across your chest, the freedom in your arms. 
Send your gaze up. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Plant your fingertips down about six inches in front of your right foot. Gaze forward. Inhale, standing split. Shift your weight into your right foot. Flex your left toes down. Lift the inside of your right heel. Over time, you'll find more length, more range in your right leg. Now plant your palms flat down towards the ground. Continue to rock the outside of your left hip down. Breathe in, lift up. Exhale, Shiva squat, straight leg variation. So keep your left leg straight. Bend your right and start to lower your left toes down towards the ground. Now this is where fear comes in because we're going to do what's called an L kick or an L hop. So sometimes there's fear with something that we don't practice all the time or we don't feel 100% confident in. So we're going to change this connection, this relationship to fear so we can find freedom instead. So believe, you got to trust in your power, make connection with your palms down towards the ground, feel the strength of your right glutes into your right quadricep, and the levity that will happen when you kick up. Shift slightly forward, gaze forward, little L jump, so all the way up, good, brace down and then forward fold, send your left foot next to your right. Now we get to do that freedom flow again. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair, airplane. We're gonna do two of them. Inhale, mountain, back bend. Exhale, chair, airplane. Inhale, mountain, back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plant your palms, step back. Let's play with the second side. Inhale, lift your left leg nice and high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, straight leg twist. Straighten your left leg. Squeeze through your outer hips. Fire on through your glutes. Send your right fingertips down. And then reach your left arm up towards the sky. You can always use a prop here. You can change the position of your palm, your fingertips. Activate through your belly, so pull your lower belly towards your back. Open up through your chest, feel the freedom in your heart. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Tend your fingertips forward, gaze forward. Inhale, standing split. Shift your weight into your left foot. Confidently root down through your left foot. Feel the strength that you've built over practices, over years, in your left leg, in your glutes, in your belly, in your back. Flex your right toes down, lift through your heel. Plant your palms down, breathe in. And exhale, Shiva squat. Straight leg variation. So turn on all the power, all the confidence, all the muscle that you've built over the years. Pull your belly away from your leg bone. Gaze forward, shift into your fingertips so you can feel the ground underneath you, the security, the support of what you're working with. We'll do our little L kick, our little L hop. Untethered by fear. Good. And go up, and then forward fold. Two feet to meet. So we have our freedom flow two times. Inhale, mountain pose, set up. Exhale, chair plane, all the way up. Inhale, mountain back bend. Exhale, chair plane. Inhale, mountain back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step back. Reassess. The fears that we have, are they outdated? Do they no longer make sense? Can we let go of them? Can we relinquish? our connection to fear, to enjoy and embody more freedom. Look forward. Walk forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Right leg lifts. Inhale, one leg, mountain pose. 
And on our way, we'll go right back down to Dancing Shiva. So grab the outside of your right knee, shin, or foot. Reassess your shoulders back over your hips. And then start to straighten your right leg. Now your right leg can stay as bent as it needs to be so you can keep the integrity of alignment here. So shoulders over hips. Over time, we'll gain the range and the flexibility to straighten the right leg. Last layer, reach towards the back and send the gaze with it. Inhale, back up. Exhale, dancer's pose, Natara Jasna. Grab the inside of your right foot. Squeeze through your adductors, reach through your left fingertips. Then open up your heart. Bend into your left leg. Find the balance, the buoyancy here. The freedom to take the expression that serves your truth. Back up. Hug in as you need to open up your lower back. Exhale, chair, airplane, second side. Inhale, one leg mountain pose. Root down through your right foot, and then take Dancing Shiva on the second side. Grab the outside of your left knee, your shin, your foot. Now balancing gives us the opportunity to overcome natural fear of falling. But we must be brave. We must trust our heart and our mind. Use an empowering mantra to give you the courage to stay and challenge yourself. Come back to center. One leg into dancer's pose, not that adjustment. Pull into your midline. Find your length first. Bend into your right leg. Turn on the activation of your right leg. And then hinge. So backbending can bring fear into our physical body. And we can store this fear in our heart. So when we open up the heart, as we do in dancer's pose, we let go of this fear. We repla replace it with freedom. Come back to center, hug in as needed. Let's do three of our freedom flows. Chair, airplane. Inhale, mountain pose. Three from here. Exhale, chair. Inhale, mountain. That's one. Exhale, two. Inhale. That's one more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing. Breathe into the flow, the fluidity of movement, guided by intuition. And drop down to your shins, lay down to your back. Bridge pose, now slide your heels. Up towards your glutes. Lift your hips up towards the sky. Shimmy your shoulders underneath your body. Interlace your fingers. Press your pinkies down. Squeeze through your glutes. Open up through the anterior chain. Find the activation here. Again, the courage to open up your heart to expose your most delicate parts and decide to let go of anything that holds you back. One more breath in. Exhale, so release down. Little broken bridge, knock your knees together. We'll do bridge one more time, so take your pause.
return your heel, your heel, your feet back to your glutes. Lift up, bridge post. Shimmy underneath. Interlace and press your fingertips down. Squeeze here. Turn on through your thighs. Open up through your hips. Feel the power of your belly. Decide to trust. Trust your heart. Trust your mind. Good. Slowly release. Recline bound angle pose. Supta Baddha Konasana. Mirror the soles of your feet to touch. Butterfly your knees nice and wide. Untuck your shoulder blades. And broaden through your upper back. Rotate your palms up towards the sky. Surrender. Send your feet back down to the ground, your knees up. Keep your feet nice and wide on your mats. And send both of your knees over to the left side. Get a nice little stretch from the top of the hip, so the iliac crest, all the way up to the side bodies. If you want to intensify the stretch a little bit, you can send your left heel to the outside of your right knee. We'll get a little more length of the outside of the right leg, down into the knee, the patella. Open up your arms nice and wide. You can layer on the neck stretch and send your chin over to your right arm, your shoulder. Back to center. Send your feet nice and wide. Both knees over to the right side this time. And start to stretch your silly putty of skin in two different directions here. Your choice to add on a layer. If you want to topple your right foot on the outside of your left knee. And then send your gaze into your left shoulder. Back to center. Send your lower back back down to the ground. Hug your knees into your chest. Plow pose, halasana. Guide your legs over your head. Maybe your toes touch down to the ground. Maybe they don't. It's all good. Brace your palms to your lower back. Over time, I'll let gravity just take hold of your body as it softens. Realize as it's stable and strong, it's protected. And it can find a little more malleability. More range. Give yourself a couple breaths here. And then when you're ready, you can unroll your spine. Maybe the body wants a little happy baby on the way down. A little rock. Embody your own movements your own dance, and then take on Shavasana. Now we learn from the example of Shiva, how he is unafraid of the snakes and the fire that encircle him. He simply sees these things as part of the dance of life. And as we continue to study and witness our fears, the tethers that pull us back from our fullest potential, we can make peace with them. We can decide if they're still relevant. Or if there's some reprogramming, some growth, and have the courage to tap into 
limitless potential by unraveling from our fear. Yogis, you're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you need to. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you, guys. I'll see you soon.